Welcome back to all my viewers. And before I continue any further, um, for the Spanish speaking um, subscribers, para mis amigos de habla hispana, bienvenido a mi canal. Alright, um, today we have it's an Android smart board. Commonly, it's a common brand, which is MasterTech. This board came out of and the initial problem was it was stuck on android but this came from another technician where they tried to i don't know try to load another software on it and in doing so now the board is totally dead all right so i can demonstrate that now so there is no standby, no standby whatsoever. So what I'm going to do is just check voltage, make sure the voltage are correct before we go any further. All right, so just to see, to rule out, it's not an voltage issue. All right, so just want to see if I'm getting 12 volts. Yes, getting 12, um, 3.3, yes, 1.5, yes, um, 1 point, how about 1.8, 1 point that's not good, yeah, 1 point 1.1, that's good. And 1.8, that's good. So, so far, all the voltage are okay. 5.2, sorry. So, I want to believe it's just because of the software they tried to install that the board is no longer functioning. So, what I'm going to do is to load the software and see if we can bring this board back to life all right so we're going to be using this tool so i'm just going to wire up the board now and rewrite the emmc And let's go to the desktop. Let's open up the program. Okay, so we need to click Smart Identify. Vamos aquí. 1.8. And this here is in Chinese, but it's okay. And let's see if I'm getting a connection with the board. I'm just going to click read. Yes. So I am. Cancel. All right. So most likely, we just need to erase. So we're going to erase the MMC, it was successful. And let's double check the settings here. Everything is okay. And now we're going to write the new EMMC software. Click write. Okay. And We just have to wait for this process to finish 
and this can take a while so I will speed up this process now Okay, so it's complete. All right. So, okay, open everything was loaded correctly. Um, so I'll just disconnect. I like to disconnect this as well, just to be on the safe side that we don't corrupt the software at all. All right. Get the power jack. And just want to see if I get a standby light. So we're gonna connect power and let's see. Yes, so we have standby now. Great, that's great news. So, um, what should I do here? So let's test and see if the software will load. Okay. So let's see. So we have the standby here. And I'm gonna hit power now. Power. Yes, we have master tech. And let's see. I just wanted to boot up to the main menu and should be good to go. Yes. Okay, so the software was successfully loaded. Loaded. So this is great news. The technician will be happy. Okay. And for my Spanish viewers, um, para mis amigos de habla hispana, eh, bueno, he estado aprendiendo uh, solo 10 meses ahora en mi casa, uh, pero pero necesito más práctica en español. Um, let me just get the remote and let me check. Let's get this here. Make sure I'm getting yes. Okay. All right, so we are good to go. La placa es trabajando ahora. Gracias por ver. Por favor, dale me gusta y suscríbete a mi canal. So I'm just going to reinstall the heatsink for the processor and this board should be good to go. So again, thank you for watching. Hope you like and subscribe to the channel. I know it was a bit different speaking Spanish and English, but it will give me more time to practice. So do enjoy. Adios.